In recent weeks, there have been several new cases of bacterial meningitis and septicemia confirmed according to the Meningitis Research Foundation. Following the death of a student from University College Cork who contracted the disease earlier this month, we spoke to DCU students to see how much they knew about meningitis and if they knew the symptoms to look out for. I actually don't know anything about it, so it would be good to find out something. Um, so there are a few different symptoms. Um, I think the most common one is the pain. Back the neck. Um, so I know meningitis can be fatal and it also can be quick. Um, I know that uh, you get a rash with it and if you put it last to the rash and the rash doesn't disappear, well then that's a sign of it. There's also a few other symptoms like if you can't look at light as well, um, that's also another, another bad sign as well. Um, and yeah, it's fairly rampant on the campus at the moment. Well, not rampant, but you know, it's around. But yeah, people should know what the symptoms are. I don't really know anything about meningitis specifically. I know that it's, um, when you call it a disease, like I know that, I know it's a sickness that like people have and that you could potentially, it could be fatal, but other, like statistics and stuff like that, I don't really know any statistics about meningitis. So far this academic year, there have been a total of two confirmed cases of meningitis in DCU. We spoke to St. Pat's student nurse, Sinead McGrath, to find out more about meningitis. Now, meningitis can be viral or bacterial, but the bacterial is more serious than the viral. Now, when I say general, and it's, but it's very, very treatable. So, as I say, the symptoms can be very broad. You know, there can be muscle pain, nausea, vomiting, feeling unwell, temperature, don't like loud noises, um, photophobia then, headache, acute fever, um, and neck stiffness would be the ones that we would be more concerned about let's say all right and oftentimes it's quite rapid you'll always hear about the rash and the tumbler and did the rash fade but at that point you are actually very unwell because that means you've septicemia so we have this brain here and we have the meninges here and then we have the skull here all right so if you think it's this blue layer we're looking at here so that's where your csf so your cerebral spinal fluid goes around and all around down right through to the spinal cord and that's the area that's affected with meningitis. Early detection, early treatment will improve outcomes hugely with meningitis. Shirley Donnan, DCU TV News.